Well, it's been just about exactly a year since I've um, been able to work on this due to the death of my father and, and dealing with everything family comes first. So I'm glad to say that I'll soon be back on this. There was a bit of pride there from my father. He used to come around at least once a week to just to see what I've done on this. So it'll be good to get back on it. Anyway, what I thought I would show is that I've been modifying this guard. Um, the best way to show it is this is the original guard. The fender as you like to call it in America or wing in the UK. So that is the stock orientation like that. And the grill attaches to these three bolts, holes. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling this forward and what that does is in this gap here it gives me an extra inch and a half of room inside the engine bay without altering the center line of the uh, wheel arch. Now on the 1948 cabs which is what part of this is um, the guard comes around here and then goes straight to the grill. In actuality, of course, it's actually back here, like that. So on the, what they call the pointy nose, it comes up and then goes all the way back. So it comes forward as part of the pointy nose, as well as the grill goes back and forward. So by pulling that forward, I get the room I need between the radiator and the front of the engine without altering the center line of the axle in relationship to the guard. Um, you can probably see here I've removed the pressing from where the uh, clearance was for the shock on the inner guard and this one is still um, in the process from a year ago of being modified. So this is what was in here before. So what's under my hand is the clearance for the uh, shock absorber mount on the chassis and that big dip in there was for the oil bath cleaner. Um, so I've made up this guard here, this in new inner fender. I don't know if I can get back far enough, which will um, slot in there and take up the extra length I need between here and the grill when this comes forward, the inch and a half or 40 millimetres. Um, so you can see on this one here, it blends in quite well. It's a style, ouch, style of the 48 and 58 that I've been seeking. Um, it still comes back a little bit um, because when I tried it completely straight, it just didn't look right. So let's go with your, what looks right. To give you an idea, this is the, um, the grill I'm using. So I've added an extra, this section through here has been added in. So I have now got um, 10 slots, the same as the uh, 40, or 47 to uh, 1950 grills on the trucks. Um, so you can see there is um, 10 slots there. This is the 58 grill and there's only eight slots. So I've come up with something get back here far enough that's um, in between the two of them so the 10 slots from the uh, earlier model and um, the grill spacing and the V from the later model I still have to add an extra couple of inches each side one side here and that side there uh, to gain the full width of nine inches that the truck is wider um, then stock and that will give it a bit more balance at the same time.